Okay, I think our next problem to solve is the ship stretching as we turn it around. We've had that problem before in our clunky version of our game. We did some aspect ratio correction, so let's go look at the code where we did that. I'm going to search for aspect. Here's aspect ratio, fixer up code. I'm going to copy all this, go to our renderer. And in the where you draw our paint gl paint gl, this is where we need to do the fix up uh, right here on this matrix. This wear matrix, we need to slam it with the aspect correction fix up. So let's just paste that code right here and say matrix 2d h renderer get aspect correction matrix that can be const I'll grab that so we can throw that in the header file but in the meantime I'll add some curlies go to render.h and just here in the private section I'll drop that math renderer get aspect correction matrix do we have matrix 2dh included does not look like we do pound include math math matrix 2dh control minus to get back to where we were at control minus a few more times here we are highlight all this control kf uh, we need to return scale but i actually want to use the return value optimization trick remember there's a video on this playlist called return value optimization i encourage you to go go watch that again if necessary and I wonder, why are we getting the red squigglies? It might be just in Tyson's having a bad day. And I'm tempted to turn this into a ternary, but I don't think the readability would be very nice. Using math, not mather, math, matrix 2dh, control minus. Come on, Tyson, you can do it. Very good. Very good. So then down here where we render on the where for each renderable that we're rendering, uh, we need to make a ma matrix for that. So matrix 2dh, 2dh, op, gets, get aspect correction matrix times r dot where, and then we'll put op right here. I know I flew through all this, but we've done all this before when we were doing the clunky version of our game in my GL window. And the purpose of these last 10, 20, 30 videos, whatever they are, is to get the refactoring right, not to uh, explain the code over again. If you need to understand why we're doing all that, then go back and watch those videos in this playlist. Let's build this, run this, see if the ship looks any better when we turn it and rotate it. Actually, it looks better already. Remember, it was short and fat. Now, now I can turn it, and that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Let me try flying it around. Yep, and it feels right. We have our components in the background doing what they should be doing. Okay, pretty cool.